All right, I'm gonna show you guys what you need to do the front end conversion on a 94 Z28, 93, 95, 96, 97. It goes the same pretty much for the fucking Trans Am, just obviously different body parts, but, you know, you get the logist of it. Alright, obviously you need both of the fenders from an LS1 front end, the bumper, the hood, which I would absolutely not recommend this hood because I got this from somebody else and it's like a Duraflex one. Worst hood in the entire world. Like, go and spend a couple extra hundred bucks. Like, you can see all the waves in it and fucking... It was forever hellacious to get it lined up. But, you know, to each their own. You obviously need the headlights, the fucking marker lights, the fog lights. If you want the fog lights, I'm guessing most people do since it's a <coughs> part of the bracketry if you get it off of another car. Um, usually if you get shit off of eBay, you know, it would probably already have the fog lights on there and everything. I would just recommend getting it from somebody that has a car that they're parting out. You get everything the cheapest. But, you can use the same, the, the hood fucking things, the, whatever the fuck you want to call these things that, that hold the hood up, the hood supports, whatever. You'll need that bracket, you can take that off of their original hood, that bracket, the hook and the latch. Um, you will need this, and this you will have to grind down the bottom of it in the plastic because on an LS1, the radiator supports flat, and it doesn't have a groove that comes up through here. So, you can kind of see where I notched it out to make it work. But, you know, to each their own, you can do whatever the fuck you want. That's if you want to put the regular LS1 Ram Air on there. Which, if you're going to use the hood, you might as well do it do it how you should do it to make it all function correctly so you have an actual Ram Air that works. But you will need this. Um, let's see. You don't need the plastic supporter. It's a foam one that comes with the LS1 for the... The front bumper because it's definitely more it's sturdy enough without that bumper like it's a it's an impact like fucking absorber or whatever all it is is foam pointless the fucking lt1 one's plastic it's like a square mesh plastic um if i had a fucking flashlight here i could show you there is two brackets in here which uh let me fucking i don't think i have a light but they're for the fenders, and there's one, they both go together, they're like interlaced kind of, and one's to hold the corners of the, the fender, and the other one's so it has the fucking, there's like a, I think it's two or three uh, studs, or two studs and one screw goes through it, but there's two brackets on the inside of here to hold this together. The headlight assembly, obviously, you know, you need all that, that, the headlight. It's pretty basic, though. If you just get it off of another car, you'll get the whole headlight. You'll have to tap some screw holes here. So, and then, this, it doesn't go anywhere, really, because there's nothing to mount that to. So, it's just a, a support, which, trust me, it's supported enough with those and that and... Being over there connected to that shit. But yeah, there's two brackets. And shit used to be cheap when I would get it, but apparently it's not cheap anymore. Because, like, each one of those brackets are, like, around 60 to 100 bucks. And uh, I wish I could show you them. They're down in there. I can get a fucking light somewhere. What the fuck happened to my drill? Um... I'll try to get something to fucking show you because it's pointless to do the fucking video if you can't see the fuck I'm talking about. See, there's a bracket down in there. And it connects to another bracket that holds the fender together. Ah, there you can see them. See, there's one. And then it connects to the side there by another bracket. It's kind of hard to tell. But there's two, there's two brackets there. 
you have, I wish I could fucking get up in there. It looks like one, but you can see where that one, like, overflaps over the other one. So, this is a bracket. Ah, fucking blocking the light. Let's say the the left side's one bracket and the one underneath of it's the other bracket that holds that fender together. I wish I could fucking get a fucking light in there. You kinda get my logist though, believe what the fuck I'm saying. See? There's two little brackets, one to the left and one to the right. The one on the right holds the fender together, the one on the left is just the support to hold it to the body. So it doesn't move. So you need those. You'll obviously need all the fucking nuts and bolts. Which, if you take the parts off of another car, save every single fucking nut and bolt. Because you're going to need it. And then also keep all the nuts and bolts off of everything that you took off of your car previously. So then you have extras. Because you'll end up not having enough nuts and bolts and then you'll end up being fucked. Like, where am I going to fucking find these nuts and bolts at? And really only a bolt will go in here and there. <sighs> Nothing goes in these ones. You could fucking drill through it and tap something in there, but it'd be kind of pointless. It's pretty fucking sturdy. Like, the radiator is held on to it, so. But really, that's really all you need. The bumper, two headlights... Two fenders, those like fender brackets. These brackets on the insides of the door jams, you, and the hood brackets you can leave the same too. I had issues with this fucking hood, so I had to. <laughs> and the hood was like three quarters of a fucking inch off because it's just a piece of shit. But that bracket up in there for the fender, you can leave that one the same, and there's another one. Another one right down here. I don't know if you can see in between that door jam or not. But it's right up in there. It kind of goes in. I don't know. Oh, you can't see shit there. It's too dark. But there's a bracket here and a bracket down there. Leave those on there from the factory LT1 um, fenders. And you'll be good to go there. So... Two fenders, a bumper, two headlights. Make sure you get this with your bumper if you get it off of another car. Otherwise, you'll probably spend a hundred bucks on that. These are the factory things, the factory hood latch, or the hood fucking lock. You can get this if you want. What I'm going to do with this, I made a different one on another one of my cars that I did. But, uh, I bought this. Uh, I can't remember what it's off of. Uh, maybe an LT4 or something, or... A Firebird. It was like 56 bucks. I think I got it from like Hawks. Hawks fucking something. Or something off of eBay. They were being kind of cocksuckers. And it took forever for me to get it. But I'm going to try to adapt this to it. And make it a little bit uh, better than the other one that I had. Because before I took something off of like an old uh, third gen. And it had a bunch of ripples in it. And I made my own adapter for the intake to the fucking... Ram air, it worked good, but I'd rather have like a better, cleaner look. I'm not too worried about this car because I think I'm just gonna sell it or trade it for something else. But I did get this uh, the spoiler, it's pretty nice off of eBay. It's a little off, but it's like damn good for the price that I got. I think I painted it myself, whatever. You know, but it looks good. And I would highly recommend, like, if you fucking are doing this, to either use a factory SS hood or do not get the Duraflex hood ever, ever in a lifetime. It's the most piss poor hood I've ever seen in my entire life. I'll end up fucking doing a review on that because that thing was a piece of shit. Good thing I only spent 200 fucking dollars on it from some fucking... Mexican dude fucking over like 30 miles away from me because it was fucking junk. Like, I wish I could get the factory hood because I had a factory hood for my last one, but like, that was 10 years ago and fucking shit's becoming far and few in between now because everybody keeps wrecking them because everybody's idiots. 
So, but you'll have that. But it looks pretty decent with that shitty ass hood on there. And I painted everything, so. I just wish the hood looked better. You can see the fucking waves in it. It just looks like crap. It looks like a fucking small child with a fucking uh, plastic butter knife cut this out. But I just said fuck it and just painted the fucking thing and I don't give a shit. So give it a little shine. Like You can see the fucking pits in there where the rubbing compound was at. And it just, is, it just irritates the piss out of me how shitty it is. Worst quality ever. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't even know why I fucking... They're even for sale. There's so many little pits in it everywhere. Not to mention it just didn't fucking fit in the first place. And like, I had to fucking grind out so many fucking brackets to fucking... And it's still like shit. Like there's a lip on the fucking fenders compared to the hood. Like... And then the fucking hood sticking up too high here. It just is god awful. Like I don't know what kind of idiot made this hood and like said hey let's sell this. Like, look at that shit. And, like, I'm fucking maxed out on fucking grinding out fucking everything. But I'll get into that later. Yeah, make sure you get your marker lights, though. It'd be nice to have the fucking insert that goes in there, but I bought this bumper new off of uh, eBay, which I would recommend it. I think I only paid a hundred and a quarter or 118 bucks. Got the bumper. They did have other packages for fucking two fenders and a front bumper, but I think they're all sold out, so like I just had to get the bumper and then buy... I bought the fenders from Amazon. One fender from Amazon, one from eBay, but they're both the same from YCC or whatever. So, I didn't even pay very much for those, so that was a good good deal, I thought. I think I paid 60 bucks for the fenders each or some shit, but they're brand new. So I didn't even have to like primer them, I just fucking painted them and fucking cleared over them. Because like, really you only need primer if fucking, to fill in fucking fuck up spots, for the most part. That ain't gonna make a goddamn difference. Especially since I'm not gonna have the car very long. <laughs> fucking sell it at night. <laughs> but uh... <clears throat> Whatever, you know. I got my headlights from some clown that was trying to rip me off and fucking sell me a bunch of broken shit. But I polished those up. They look pretty decent. A little scratch axe and a little fucking buffing wheel. But I had the biggest bitch of a time getting these fucking marker lights in here, though. I had to take the fucking headlights out and I should have put the marker... I'd recommend putting the marker lights in before you put the bumper on, or unless the fucking marker lights are already on there, like most of my my cars already had everything on the fucking the front bumper when I uh, put it on, so, but yeah, that's that's for the most part all you need. I prefer that without a screen, so but to each their own, especially since that fucking hood's stupid anyways, there's nothing that you can even put in there really without it fucking falling out, probably. But... Yep, that is the whole shebang. I think it turned out pretty decent for fucking makeshift fucking garbage parts. So, you'll, you'll have that. 